I took three years off from pole vaulting and managed to PR in less than three months. Two things helped me do that, and I'm going to share those with you today. I got this crazy idea this summer of coming out of retirement after not even doing a pop-up on a pole for the last three years. I haven't even been airborne on the pole vault, but that's what I decided to do. The biggest issue was that I was out of shape. Whoo! Whoo, I'm done. Oh, that was good. That was the warm-up. <laughs> if you don't pole vault for three years, you're not in pole vault shape. First time going through was all right. Sick time, not fun. And so I started to write my own training program and I just couldn't do it. It was like, where do I even start? What do you think, man? Wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can get it harder. I hate you. So I took the general prep training program I saw on my website and I was like, I've never done this program. Fun fact, the training program I have on my website is roughly half of the intensity and half of the volume that I did when I was training full time. So I want to see how out of shape I really was. So I started with test day. Here's the plan today. Set up the free lap timing system. One start, 30 meters, and we're gonna do a flying 10, standing long jump, overhead shot, standing triple jump. Test, you gotta test. You gotta test to know if what you're doing is working and where you were compared to what two year, taking two years off does for you. So, let's do it. Scores, guys. Overhead shot. So I only had two plans with this idea of coming out of retirement. The first was to do the general prep training program. The second thing, I was gonna use Earl Bell's chart and stay at the approach until I reached the equivalent of 520 or 17 feet from that approach run. So it, I might never get past one left. I might never get past two lefts. That was that was just the idea. I'm not looking excited. Hey, but that was kind of fun vaulting today. Nothing hurts. One left, and we tried to put up bars, but it's too windy. Bar kept blowing down, so I had to use those dreaded herpy bungees. Damn it! All right, let's do this. If I throw up. I'll uh, show you what I ate for breakfast. But everyone kept asking me, Sean, why aren't you doing any meat? Sean, what meats are you gonna do? Sean, are you gonna do any meats? And here's the secret, I never plan on doing any meats. The big secret was I came out of retirement because I was writing the book. Now available for pre-sale at team-shoot.com. I wanted to demonstrate the drills myself. I didn't wanna break both of my legs, pull my hamstrings, or break my back, or my pride while I was trying to pole vault again because pole vault is not the easiest thing on the body. That was why I came out of retirement. The secret's out, everybody. I was afraid of looking stupid. <laughs> so that was the motivation. But what started out as another pole vault project or assignment, work, it started to be really fun again. And pole vault hasn't been fun for me for a long time. The physical act of doing it, which is why I stopped. It just stopped being fun. But I found it again. Doing a real bad job at filming, but uh... 11 1 first attempt, 13 1 50, gripping 11 6. The, the best way I can explain it was you know, at the end of Field of Dreams, where Kevin Costner is out on the baseball field and his dad comes out. He just asks, Do you want to have a catch? And there's like this moment there, and it hits me in the feels every time I see it. More than half of you haven't seen Field of Dreams. It's a great movie. I went out there every day with my dad, and we had the equivalent of a pole vault catch. The standards in. 10, 15. Get my standards, 5, 15. Guy. Start there, and if I hit it on the way up, then then we know. I know Sam Kendricks and Mondo can like relate to this because their coaches are their dads. Do you get it? Do I need to keep explaining? Because it's hit me in the feelies, and my feelies are feeling. So after some time, the general prep training started to do its thing. It, it, I started feeling great. I started feeling awesome. I was hitting short run PRs that I wasn't even able to get when I was training full time, jumping my overall PRs as a professional athlete. 
then at the beginning of the July, I did a pole vault camp in Georgia and it was awesome. And on the last day, Hunter Arnold asked if I would vault with him. And I was like, yes, this sounds great. I've always wanted to jump with you, man. So I went and jumped with him. I broke my second pole of my career. I'm sorry again. I feel really bad about breaking your pole. It's in a better place now though, so don't worry. Guys, I'm not a jerk. I apologized immediately. Sorry, sorry. Safe. Sorry. Now, I didn't think I did any damage while the pole broke, but my bottom hand just kept getting more and more sore over the next couple days. So I didn't jump the rest of the summer because I couldn't, but I kept training because it was fun. So for the last two weeks in September and the first two weeks in October, I had the book done. I just needed to take pictures and videos. On the very last day, we decided, hey, let's just jump. Let's play one last game of catch before we put the pits away. And you know, like, it'll be like our, our celebration for finishing this huge thing, or at least getting all the content we need for it. So am I just out of pole now? Yep. Or take another two inches of grip, see what happens? You can try two inches of grip. Okay. Get up! It wasn't pretty. It was pretty. You left 14 1. Oh, yeah, you were right, 15. <laughs> I felt good, like I actually. He did, it looked real good. Damn. You look, everything looks a little slower because you're tired. Out of shape and. Yeah. yeah, but you covered everything. So with only training and no pole vaulting for two whole months from July to October 8th, we had a hell of a game of catch. I PR'd from two lefts and jumped 14.5 and then my only goal was to see if I could jump 16 feet from four, which uh, I haven't done in three years and did that too. It was a really good game of catch. So there was two things that helped me PR this summer. The first being the general prep training cycle. That thing is way better than I anticipated and in my head I was like, it's not good enough for me. I need to do more and I need to do higher intensity stuff when after testing and actually doing the training program, I was doing way too much when I was doing the professional thing. I did not need to be doing that much. I needed to be doing that much. The general prep, volumes and intensities. That program is awesome. The second thing I picked up is when I was down at Daniel Ryland's. He called it opening your shoulder at the plant, and I talked all about it in my book. Pre-order the book to learn I came from the mud, dirt on my hands. Now just be aware that due to the demand of the holiday season, I'm only allowed to have a select number of books printed. So all I'm asking is that you have your orders in prior to November 30th, 2019. Shoot me down soon